that. Julian, is that you? Hello? Julian, that better not be you. Jillian, are you in your room? Jillian, I keep hearing someone knocking, but I think I might have been dreaming. Jillian, are you in there? What do you want? Did you hear someone knocking? No, but I heard something calling my name, and it was you. I don't know. I know I heard someone pounding really loud on the door, but I opened the door and no one was there. Then I woke up. Well, then you were dreaming. But it was weird because I was drawing a pumpkin, and then whenever I turned around, there was a real pumpkin and the drawing was gone. Yeah, that sounds like a dream. Dreams can be weird like that sometimes. I'm just kind of creeped out by it, and now I'm afraid to open the door. Well, what do you want me to do, Addie? Okay, that one I heard. Daddy, is that you? Stop scaring us. Daddy and Mommy are out shopping, remember? Well, maybe they're trying to fool us. Mommy, Daddy, is that you? I don't know, Julian. Maybe we should just call the police. We should at least open the door. I don't want to cause a false alarm. What if something bad's out there, Jillian? Look, remember that time Paco knocked a dish off the counter and we thought someone was trying to break in? You would have felt pretty dumb if we had called the police then, wouldn't you? I guess, but that didn't sound like a dish breaking. That sounded like someone pounding on the door. There's probably some kind of explanation. Come on. There's still time to call the police, Jillian. Look, we have a burglar alarm, and that hasn't been set off, so I think we're okay. Jillian, the pumpkin! Yeah, it's a pumpkin. Jillian, that was the same pumpkin from my dreams. It was on the table. Uh, I think I know what's going on here. What? You're trying to scare me, Addie, and it's not funny, it's annoying. Jillian, I'm not trying to scare you. I didn't do this. Uh-huh, so I guess that was the pumpkin knocking on the door. Jillian, I don't know how this is happening, but I'm not the one who's doing it. Whatever, Addie. I'm not interested in playing this game anymore. Jillian, look! Two pumpkins? No, I know you can't think I did that. I guess not. We better close that door. Now what, Jillian? 
I guess we just wait until Mommy and Daddy get back home. Should we be calling the police? Do you honestly think they'd believe a story from two little girls about pumpkins appearing in hallways? I guess not, but we could just tell them that we think that there's an intruder in the house. I guess so. <sighs> What's wrong? I just remember that I left my phone charging in the kitchen. Well, I'm not going back out there. Wait, let me see those pumpkins again. Be my guest. Where did the pumpkins go? That is really weird. Where do you think they went? I have no idea. Ah, the pumpkins! Close the door! The pumpkins are blocking it! Joanne, there were three pumpkins that time. How did they get beneath us? We would have had to open the door right through them. Well, they weren't ghost pumpkins because I felt them when I kicked them. Addie, I think you need to tell me more about your dream. Why? What's that matter? There might be some clues there to help us figure out what's going on. Well, I was drawing a pumpkin, and then I, w I heard something pounding at the door, and then I went up to the door, and there was nothing there. But whenever I looked around, there was a pumpkin in the place where I was drawing. But then I woke up, and there wasn't even a drawing. Hmm. I was hoping there would be some sort of key that would help us figure this out. I don't know, Jillian. I don't think we should be talking about my dream. I think we should be talking about the fact that there's three pumpkins outside the door. Or maybe four now. Every time we've looked, there's been another pumpkin. Well, it's simple then. We'll just stop looking out that door. Go away, whoever that is. Yeah, we're going to make you into pumpkin pies. Nice one. Look, I think we should check the door. Why? It's the only thing keeping the pumpkins out of here. But what are they going to do? They're pumpkins. I guess they did just let us kick them across the hallway. Yeah, whoever's behind this would have made their move by now. Man, I wish I had my golf clubs right now. Or a baseball bat. Here goes nothing. Five pumpkins now? And they're getting bigger. Should we go kick these ones too, Jillian? Wait a minute. Why is there five now instead of four? Yeah, you're right. One, two, three. There should have been four. I think it's a Fibonacci sequence. A Fibonacci what? A Fibonacci sequence. You add the previous two numbers in the pattern to get the next number. So great, we have mathematical pumpkins. How does that help us? It's a pretty significant pattern. It comes up a lot in nature. I don't know. So the next one will be 5 plus 3, right? Right. 8 pumpkins. Well, how about we just close the door here, and then we'll have zero pumpkins. How's that sound? Yeah, I think I agree. Jillian? I don't think it matters whether the door is open or closed now, Jillian. How'd they get there so fast? And look, there's faces carved into two of them now. At least they're smiling. Yeah, that doesn't really help me. Let's take a closer look. I'm only counting seven here, Jillian. So much for your fancy Nancy sequence or something. It's a Fibonacci sequence, and yeah, there's only seven pumpkins here. Do you see an eighth pumpkin anywhere? Wait, I think there's something inside the jack-o'-lantern. Addie, what are you doing? Don't reach in there! Ow, that really hurt. I think it bit me. What did you see in there? It looked like a note, but I'm not putting my hand back in there. A note? It could be a clue, or maybe a trap. Hmm... What's wrong, Jillian? I think I just found the eighth pumpkin.
Now that is one big pumpkin. It's blocking the doorway. We can't get out. Addy, I have an idea. Well, tell me. The first pumpkin appeared after you drew it in your dream, right? Yeah, I guess so, but that was a dream. I don't think the regular rules of reality apply here, Addy. Well, what are we supposed to do then? I need you to draw eight pumpkins. Hurry. What? Drawing pumpkins? Just do it or this whole house is going to be filled with pumpkins. All right, all right. Hurry, they don't have to be perfect. Don't pressure me, I'm doing the best I can here. The next number in the sequence is going to be 13, then 21. It's going to get out of control really fast. Jillian, there's a five-foot pumpkin in the corner. Don't you think it's out of control already? Sorry, are you almost done? And... There. Now take your black marker and scratch them all out. You want me to ruin all my pumpkins? That's the idea! Go! Fine. So, the pumpkins are still here, Jillian, so that didn't work. Gimme it. <clears throat> wow, you're really angry at those pumpkins. Look, it's working! Whoa! The other ones are going too! Wow, I guess your idea did work. Addy, where did you get those crayons anyway? Daddy said he bought them off some old lady at a flea market. You have to be careful about what you draw from now on. Yeah, I'm glad I drew pumpkins. I was originally thinking about drawing Frankenstein. I guess it's over now. Oh no. Something wrong, Addy? This was on my bed. Well, that can't be good. Why do you look like me? Hello? Hello? that this can't be really happening who are you are you real
was that all about? What just happened? I saw myself in my room, but now I'm out here. I don't know what's going on. Same here. I saw myself standing in front of your room. The last thing I remember before this was holding that black pumpkin. Yeah, you showed it to me, and then I reached out to touch it. It must have done something to us. Well, we gotta make sure we don't touch that pumpkin again. Hey, where'd it go? I don't know, Addy. I think the stakes just got raised. What do you mean the stakes got raised? Before it was just the number of pumpkins in size, but now I think they're growing in power. Maybe they got mad whenever you crumpled up the drawing of the pumpkins. The pumpkins got mad? Well, I don't know, Jillian. All of a sudden there was this evil black pumpkin of doom which hypnotized us, so something's going on. Maybe we need to destroy that drawing instead of just crumpling it up and stomping on it. I don't see it anymore. What did you do with it? I guess if pumpkins can disappear, then so can the drawings of pumpkins. Maybe we could just draw something that will stop all this. How do you destroy pumpkin anyway? I think a tractor could just plow them under, but I don't think we want a tractor going through the house. Yeah, but I just can't help but thinking, since those magic crayons got us into this problem, maybe they can help us get out. Addy, I don't know if we should be using something we don't really understand. Oh great, more pumpkins out the door. Go away! Stop bugging us! Come on girls, open up! It's me, your father! Daddy's home! Come in, Daddy! The door's unlocked! Daddy! Where'd he go? Daddy? Daddy? Wait a second, Daddy. I don't think you should go out there yet. What do you mean? Daddy's here. Well then, where is he? Well then, who was that behind the door talking to us a second ago? I don't know, but I think... What's wrong? Those pumpkins mean business. And they didn't look like Daddy at all. Well, now what are we supposed to do? Well, Mommy and Daddy can't be out forever. They'll come back eventually. How are we even gonna believe that it's them whenever they actually do come back? And who was that talking before? I don't know. Whatever magic's controlling those pumpkins must be able to make a voice that sounded just like Daddy's. Well, next time we'll have to ask some questions so we know it's really Daddy. Yeah, now that I think about it, there was something off. He said, it's me, your father. Yeah, since when does he call himself father? Before he would have just said, it's daddy. Well, maybe next time it'll pretend to be mommy. Jillian, I still think we need to use those crayons to get out of the situation. I don't know, Addy. How did that one get in here? It's another black pumpkin of doom. Well, the last black pumpkin was in your room. I guess this one's mine. Hey, how come yours is bigger than mine? Really, Addy? You're gonna argue over whose black pumpkin of doom is the bigger one? Just because you're bigger, you will always get something better than me. Maybe we should kick this one out the door like we did with the other ones. I'm in no hurry to touch another black pumpkin, Jillian. Remember what happened the last time? Yeah, maybe they want us to touch this one so we can go into a trance again. Who's they, Jillian? The Pumpkin Magic Army? I don't know, Addy. I'm just trying to figure this out like you are. Stop trying to scare us! Yeah, this is getting old. Come on, girls. It's just me. Let me in. Oh, no. We're not letting you in until we're sure you're daddy. Yeah, how do we know you're not some sort of pumpkin goblin or something? Girls, you locked the door. Come on, just let me in. First, tell us your favorite ice cream flavor so we know it's you. All right, I'll play along. Uh, moose tracks, that's my favorite. Come on, let me in. 
That could just be a lucky guess. Where's mommy anyway? She had to do some grocery shopping and I didn't want to go along, so I just dropped her off. Come on, guys. Hold on. What's the color of your toothbrush? Without running down to look at your toothbrush. Oh, I don't know. It's like one of those electric ones. So it's like gray and white. It's a Sonicare. Come on, guys. Open the door. That is a pretty specific response, Joanne. That's probably really daddy. I guess so. All right, we're gonna open the door, but if you're a bunch of pumpkins, prepare to get kicked. Uh, okay. Thanks for the warning. Hey guys, what's going on? What's all this about pumpkins? Daddy, it's really you! Yeah, it's really me. What's going on with these pumpkins? We've basically been getting harassed by pumpkins for the past hour. Yeah, I was drawing his pumpkins, and I thought I was asleep, but then I woke up, and then I went to Jillian's room, and she Harassed didn't... by pumpkins? What are you talking about? I didn't see any pumpkins anywhere. Is this some Halloween thing? Oh, well, of course they're gone now that you're here. Man, not even a seed or a stem. Those things really slammed into the door. Wait, Daddy, there's one pumpkin in here. The black pumpkin. What black pumpkin? I don't see any pumpkins. Ugh, it's gone too. Daddy, I swear there was a black pumpkin in here. Lots of pumpkins. Attacking pumpkins. There was even a giant pumpkin here blocking the door. Well guys, I mean, you said you were asleep, so maybe you dreamed this? I don't know. How could we both be dreaming the same thing, Daddy? I drew a pumpkin and then one appeared. Maybe if I draw another pumpkin, another one will appear and you'll believe us. No, Addy, I don't think that's a good idea. Go ahead, draw another pumpkin. I really want to see if one would appear. That'd be something. Okay. Addy, we don't know what power those crayons have. Daddy, I think those crayons you got us are cursed. Cursed crayons? No, I just got them from some nice old lady at the flea market. She was a little weird, though. All right, one pumpkin coming up. Addy, don't you dare draw a pumpkin. Fine, I won't draw a pumpkin. Addy, don't draw anything! What's it matter if she draws something or not? I'm just afraid something bad's gonna happen, Daddy. Don't worry, nothing bad's gonna happen. I just drew the most harmless thing you can imagine. More harmless than a pumpkin? Addy, what did you do? <laughs> You heard that, didn't you, Daddy? It was just the most harmless, cutest little thing I could imagine. It... I don't think anything bad would happen. What did you draw, Addy? A kitty cat. I'm gonna go check this out. I think some kind of animal got in the house. Addy, we better go help him. He doesn't know what he's in for. Neither do we. That is one big kitty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't think that this would happen. What are you talking about, Daddy? I don't think this is your fault. Well, she is the one who drew the picture of the kitty. So what should we do next, Daddy? Uh, you guys better go back to your room to stay safe. I'm gonna call Animal Control. Animal Control? I don't think Daddy has any idea what he's up against. Come on, Addy. I have an idea. What's your plan, Jillian? If those magic crayons got us into this mess, I think they can get us out of it. Well, I really have to make sure that I don't draw another kitty. How hard can that be? Come on. Jillian, look! I think they're guarding the door, Jillian. Maybe they don't want us to get to the crayons. Well, then we must be on the right track. So how do we get past them? 
Oh no, I think they're going on the offensive. Charge them! Man, that was way too close. Come on. So we gotta dress something that'll get rid of a cat. How about a dog? Then we'll have a big dog to get rid of. Yeah, I think I'd rather deal with a big kitty than a big dog. So what should we do? I don't know. Maybe there's some way to trap it. Ooh, we can at least stop the cat from hurting anyone. That's a good idea, Addy, but now we just have a giant kitty in a cage. Hey, it's better than a giant kitty with no cage, am I right? Let's go check it out. Wait a minute, Jillian, what about those pumpkins? If they want to fight, we'll fight back, just like we did last time. You hear that, pumpkins? We're coming! Looks like all is clear. Be careful, Jillian. They could be just lurking around the corner, giggling. Why do they have to be giggling? Come on. Well, at least you drew a nice strong cage, Addy. I try to do good work. <laughs> Alright, so the cat's not gonna hurt anyone, but we still have a giant cat in our house. And a giant cage. That thing doesn't look like it's gonna fit through the door. We better go back to the drawing board. Literally. Pumpkins weren't. Just as long as they don't come back. Jillian, look! It's the Black Pumpkins of Doom! How are we supposed to get past them, Jillian? Last time they hypnotized us. Yeah, but that was only when we touched them. So whatever you do, don't touch them. What if they jump towards us like the last ones? I have an idea. Bed sheets? What are we supposed to do with those? We're gonna use these as a barrier. Alright! <laughs> I feel like a green ghost. Well, at least it worked. So how are we going to draw our way out of this problem, Jillian? I'm not sure. Why did you have to draw the kitty so big to begin with? I thought I was drawing a small kitty, but I guess he does look kind of big compared to the piece of paper. Hmm, maybe we have a problem of scale here. Scale? What are you talking about, Jillian? Well, look. This kitty and cage pretty much fill up the whole piece of paper. Yeah, so? Well, what if we did this? What are you doing, Jillian? And there. I still don't get it. Now the kitty looks small compared to the paper. Well, I don't think that this is going to make him small, Jillian. Why not? This is just paper. We need to do something with the crayons. You're right. Let's draw a house around him. That's not about house, Jillian. Hmm, we better put some tape on here to hold this thing together. Good idea. There we go. So now we have a little kitty. I hope so. Let's go find out. Do 
Do you think that those pumpkins will be out there again? Let's take a peek. It looks clear to me. Where'd the cat go? Jillian, look! It worked! The cat and the cage got small. Aw, he's kind of cute. Can we keep him? Hey guys, I called pest control and what happened to the big cat? Whoa, where'd that come from? We used our magic crayons to cage the cat and make it small. And now Addy wants to keep the cat. Those crayons again? Really? Wait a minute. How can he not believe us about the crayons even after seeing the big cat? That's how grown-ups are, Addy. This cat, this is just a stuffed cat. Is someone playing a joke on me? There's just something wrong about all this. I don't know what's going on, guys. But Daddy, we tried explaining about the crayons. Don't bother, Addy. I think this is over now anyway. Hey, pest control? Yeah, you can cancel that. I think that was just a false alarm. Do you think those pumpkins are going to be back, Addy? I don't know what the rules are anymore. Addy, look! Yeah, is there something I'm supposed to be seeing here, Jillian? No, but every other time we've come around this corner, there's been something there. So I think we're making progress. So we took care of the cat problem, the pumpkins seem to be gone. I think we're good now. I don't know, Addy. Something's bothering me about this drawing. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's not perfect, but it got the job done. That's not the problem. I think we're really missing something here. Well, I just feel like it's all over. Wait a minute, Addy. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Exactly. It's too quiet. I'm going to go take a look. What? What's wrong, Jillian? What happened to the neighborhood? What do you mean? Oh, no. Let me see. Whoa, why are we up so high, Jillian? Addy, we didn't just make the kitty small. We just made the house and everything else in it big. Oh no. Jillian, how are we gonna fix this? I don't know, but we have to do something soon. I think the neighbors might notice this. Gee, you think so? It's not the neighbors I'm worried about. I'm worried about the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. Yeah, I guess we better get moving on a solution here. If the crayons got us into this trouble, maybe they can get us out of it. Come on. So the house got big when we drew a house around the cat that used to be big. What's weird is that everything in the house except for the cat got big. How did that happen? Yeah, the rules behind this are pretty unpredictable at best, so we better be careful. Why don't we get more paper and draw our whole neighborhood around our house? Then everything would get smaller again. That might make our neighborhood the same size, but what about the rest of the world? Well, maybe that's it. Maybe we need to draw the whole planet around our house. Addy, I see what you're saying, but that just seems really reckless. I don't want to do anything that affects the whole planet. Yeah, it seems like every time we try to make things better, we just make them worse. Maybe we need to stop thinking of things in terms of scale and size. Yeah, it would be nice if we could just make a machine that would shrink everything back to normal. That's a great idea, Addy! 
Thanks! So what is the idea? We'll just draw some sort of shrink ray machine. Really, Jillian? Those don't even exist. Well, those pumpkins chasing us existed, and that giant cat existed, so why not a shrink ray machine? Well, what does one even look like, Jillian? It can look like however we imagine it. Well, while we're imagining things, I'm imagining a switch that whenever we hit it, everything will go back to normal. It's worth a try. Oh, um, that's your switch? Everyone's an art critic. It should be good enough for what we're doing. So what do we do? Just hit the switch? I guess so, Jillian. I don't really know how these things work. Anything? This is stupid. It isn't working. I don't know, Jillian. It was worth trying. Addie, did you hear that? So many tiny little police cars. Well, I guess the switch didn't work. Now what should we do? We better do something fast. They're gonna start storming the house soon. Why would they start storming the house? Come on, Jillian. You've seen a lot of those old monster movies. You know whenever they see something that they don't understand, they try to destroy it. The pumpkins are at the door again! At least they're polite enough to knock. Hey girls, do you want to go out for a walk with me? It's Daddy! We can't let him go outside! Come on! Wait a minute, Jillian. What if it's the pumpkins changing their voices again? We got bigger problems than pumpkins right now. Open it! Hey guys, so do you want to go for a walk? Daddy, I really don't think it's a good idea to go for a walk right now. Yeah, it's pretty much the worst idea to go for a walk right now. What are you talking about? Walking's good for you. It's a little exercise. Come on, you guys. Daddy, we have a bit of a situation right now. Yeah, we really need you to stay inside the house. You guys do look kind of scared. Are you nervous about something? We can all go for a walk together. Daddy, let's put it this way. You've seen Godzilla and King Kong, right? Yeah, but what's that have to do with taking a walk? It doesn't end well for big folks, Daddy. Yeah, if King Kong had stayed in his house, everything would have been fine for him. You guys aren't making any sense to me. What the heck's that thing on the wall? Well, there's our switch. What do you mean, there's our switch? Where'd that come from? Well, the truth is, Daddy, you won't believe us. We drew it into existence so we could get everything back to normal again. Oh, uh, so this is like one of those pretending games? I see. Do you guys hear all those sirens? I better go check and see what's going on. No, stay inside, Daddy! Should we hit the switch now? I don't know. Where'd this black pumpkin come from? Don't touch it, Daddy! Why not? Just don't. We can't spend all this time arguing with him. We just need to hit that switch and hope for the best. Danger, high voltage? Did you have to draw such a dangerous switch, Addy? Just hit it before Daddy touches the pumpkin. Jillian, the pumpkin's gone! What just happened, guys? What pumpkin? I feel really weird. Addy, he doesn't have any memory of what happened. That's probably a good thing. We need to check and see if this thing worked. I'm gonna go lie down for a while. Yeah, you go do that. Everything's back to normal, Jillian. It worked! The police cars are all gone. Hopefully all our neighbors' memories got erased like Daddy's. Yeah. Look, Jillian, the crayons are still here. What should we do with them? As little as possible. What are we gonna do with that drawing, Jillian? Remember what happened whenever you ripped up the drawings of the pumpkins? Let's just do nothing with it for now. We need to be careful.
Jillian, if the switch is still on my drawing, why isn't it on the wall anymore? Well, we did say the switch would make everything go back to normal, right? And things wouldn't be normal if that switch was still on the wall. Yeah, I guess so, but I still have a feeling that things aren't right. As long as we stay away from those crayons and don't draw anything with them anymore, I think we have a good chance of things being okay. <laughs> what is that, Jillian? You fools have no idea what you've been meddling with. Oh no. <laughs> It's no use. I've dispatched my pumpkin army. Daddy's gonna need our help. Come on. Not so fast. What are you gonna do to stop us? You have no idea the powers you have just awoken. What powers? Why would I explain myself to the likes of you? Well, you're the one who brought it up. If you don't start talking, we're gonna start talking about our favorite band, Smashing Pumpkins. Huh, your weapons are useless against me. Get him, Addy. My pleasure. <laughs> it just went right through him, Jillian. What do you want from us anyway? Since you're the ones who woke up my world, you must finish what you started. Why don't you just leave us alone? I'll leave you alone, but first you must do exactly as I say. What do you need us to do? I don't trust him, Jillian. It's really a simple request. I just need you to draw a shape. What shape? I don't like where this is going, Jillian. I need you to draw a long, tall rectangle that goes from floor to ceiling. Mommy won't let us write on the walls. I think he means on our house drawing, Addy. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, we're not doing it! Not so fast, Daddy. You promise you'll go away if we draw it? Oh yes. Just draw the shape, and we'll never think about you two again. Who's we? Draw it. Your father can't stand up to the pumpkin army much longer. Don't do it, Jillian. Trust me, Addy, I got this. Hurry, the hour draws nigh. You call that a rectangle, Jillian? You're just stalling for time. Draw it. Sorry. Is it finished? Oh, it's finished, all right. You ignorant fools! You've just opened the doorway to the dark world! Now watch as I unleash the powers of darkness upon your puny little world! He doesn't look so good. Wait, what's happening? We just taught you an art lesson. No! You defeated him, Jillian. I'd say it was more of a draw. Now we just have to figure out how to get rid of that pumpkin. Let's check on Daddy first. Daddy, are you okay? Did the pumpkin army get you? Pumpkin army? What are you guys talking about? What's been going on in here? They erased his memory again, Jillian. He'll never believe us. Let's just show him the black pumpkin right here. Black pumpkin? Let me look at that. No! no! What just happened, Jillian? Wait a minute, why are we standing over here? The last thing that I remember was Daddy touching the black pumpkin. Yeah, and we tried to stop him, but now we're over here. Daddy, where are you? 
Hey girls, what's going on? Are you okay, Daddy? Yeah, you shouldn't have touched that black pumpkin. What are you talking about? What black pumpkin? The one that's right over... <gasps> it's gone, Addy! You guys like pretending for some Halloween thing again? Everything got erased again, Jillian. Daddy, do you remember the giant cat in our living room? What giant cat? No, your mother and I were out shopping. I just got back. He doesn't remember the cat either. Now I know he saw that. Alright, Daddy. We were just checking in on you. Oh, so I can go now? Alright, thanks, guys. What does this all mean, Jillian? I think this is a total reset, Addy. Reset? What are you talking about? Look, the big drawing's gone. Everything's back to how it was before you drew the cat. But why? The first time we both touched that black pumpkin, we were put into a trance. I think everything that happened from that point on was part of that trance. So are you saying that there never was a big black cat? The house never got big? There wasn't even an evil pumpkin, but it all seems so real. Well, I think it was part of the trance, but it also could have been another reality we've just fell into for a while. Well, the crayons are still here, and we need to do something about them. Yeah, I think they're the power behind all of this. Come on. So how do we get rid of the crayons, Jillian? I don't think we can just throw them out. I think we need to draw them out of existence somehow. But they can't just be erased, and if we scratch them out, something bad will happen. Hmm, maybe we can just keep them in a secure place where no one can get to them. No, Daddy or Mommy might find them, and who knows what could happen to them. Hmm, I have an idea. What are you doing, Jillian? I'm drawing a safe around it. A safe that even we won't have the key for. Jillian, look! It worked! It won't open! Perfect! Now no one can get to the crayons! Just to be sure, we better put this somewhere safe. No pun intended. Who is that? Jillian, you better not be messing with me. I'm not in the mood. You're not scaring me, Jillian. was that? I'm not gonna play these games, Jillian. What the? Jillian, I told you I'm not playing that game. Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs>
Help! The door won't open! Ah! Jillian! What are you so upset about? Jillian, there's a killer vine in this room. It's coming after me, and now I can't open the door! A killer vine? Really? Where? Right over by the desk where I was drawing. But don't go there, Jillian. We have to get out. Well, you're free to go. There's something jamming the door. It won't open. Maybe it's the killer vines. Ooh. Fine. Try it yourself. Having trouble with that door, Jillian? The lock mechanism probably got jammed. Jillian, someone was knocking and then there was nobody there. How do you know nobody was there? I thought the door wouldn't open. No, at first it would open, but then the vines came and it wouldn't open. I think the vines did it. Well, vines are not. There's two doors to this room. Let's try the other one. No luck. Jillian, look! There's a vine wrapped around the doorknob! I knew it! If it's just a vine, I should easily be able to rip this door open. Every time you twist the doorknob, I see it tightening a little more. What were you drawing anyway? Just that flower right over there, but I'm not sitting there again, Jillian. Let's think this over. Why do these things always happen when Mommy and Daddy aren't here? This reminds me of last fall when I drew that pumpkin and pumpkins started appearing everywhere. But that was six months ago and we solved that problem. Hey, it's half a ween. Do you think that has anything to do with it? I don't think it has anything to do with it being halfway to Halloween. Besides, we locked up those magic crayons in a safe, remember? Yeah, I guess those are just ordinary crayons. Anyway, I didn't draw a vine, I drew a harmless little flower. Addy, pumpkins grow on vines. Do you think those pumpkins could have left some seeds? Well, it is spring now, but I don't think seeds grow on carpeting. But there's vines outside, too. They could have crept in anywhere. Yeah, and if last year was any indication, these pumpkins don't play by the normal rules. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, what is that? It's on me! Whoa! As long as we're not sitting on that couch, we should be okay. Jillian, look! Ah, get it off! Stomp on it, Jillian! They sure are persistent, little vines. We need to come up with a plan before they lock us in this room. Well, how did we defeat the pumpkins last time? Well, we used the magic crayons to draw our way out of it. Great, we'll just get the magic crayons and go from there. But Addy, every time we thought we drew the solution, we just caused another problem. Well, I'm not just gonna sit here and wait for Mommy and Daddy to get home. Those vines won't wait. I guess you're right. Anyway, last time Daddy got knocked out by the pumpkin army. Jillian, this time we know a lot more about how those magic crayons work. Yeah, I guess if we're really careful with what we draw, we should be able to defeat the vines. Great, but there's one problem. What's that? The safe that the crayons are in is under our desk. The same desk the vines are hiding under? No one said this was gonna be easy, come on. It looks clear. Come on. Jillian, there's the safe. Right where we left it. Just go pull it out of there, Addy. Oh, sure. Send me in. You're smaller. You can fit under the table better anyway. Thanks. Do you have it? It's really heavy. Just slide it on the carpet. I think it's caught on something. Oh no. Ah, it's gone!
Hey, Jillian, help! Let go of her, you stupid vine! So much for that plan. Yeah, I think the vines are on to us. They were protecting that box. Do you think the vines can think? Either that or they're being controlled by some sort of intelligence, just like the pumpkins. Maybe if we stop it at the source, we can stop all the vines. All our weed killer is out in the garage, but we can't get to it. What's taking Daddy so long anyway? He said he was getting some new seed for the lawn. Just what we need. More plants. Yeah, he said the road salt ruined the edges of the lawn. Addy, that's it! What? I'll be right back. Jillian, what are you doing in there? Ugh, now where did I put that? Put what? Uh, Jillian? Addy, don't bug me. I'm busy looking for something. Jillian, get out here! Fine, meet your match. Salt water spray, of course. Get it, Jillian! I think it's working. It's working, Jillian. It's going away. Don't let it get away. Take that. How you like that? Go back where you came from. Jillian, look. It's gone. See if the door will open. It's gone out here, too. We must have killed the whole plant. Who'd have thought all it would take is a little bit of salt water? Let's get out of this room, Jillian. There's one more thing, just in case. What are you doing? Sorry, Addy. I just don't want to risk it. Mm, she never did appreciate my art. Daddy, I really Wait. don't- We drew it into existence so we could get back You guys hear all those sirens? Pretty good. I looked into the camera. Say what? This little- It's terrible, I hated it. <laughs> Forget it. If they want to fight, we'll fight- Be careful, Jordan, they should- <laughs> It's the black pumpkins of do- <laughs> But what if they try to jump towards us like- I feel like a green. I feel like a green. I feel like a green ghost. Well, at least it worked. Scale, what are we? Well, I'll just. What's weird, Jillian, is that everything else in the house except for the like, cat. Maybe we need to stop thinking of. came at me really low. Okay. The girls are... I'll look in the camera. Okay, come on, take the pumpkins. Is that all of them? No. Since you are the ones who awoke my world... Not a... I need you to draw a long, tall... Sorry. Wait. You Since you're the ones who woke up my world. We just taught you an art lesson. You ignorant fools. You've just opened the doorway to the dark world. Now, what? They erased his memory, Jillian. He'll never release up. Believe. Okay, you guys forgot to scream no or something. Mm. Record. Mm, we were supposed to. Oh. So you're saying that there never was a big black cat. There... I don't think we can just draw them out. I think we need to draw them out of existence. So, I don't, I think, don't we think we can... It's... Wait.
Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> ah, the vine. Oh, the vine. Ah! The vine. <laughs>